welcome. I'm glad that you stopped by for a moment. I'm Anita with BeanDesigns.com and I'm here with a short video in the Digital Scrapbooking Using GIMP Basics series. In this video, I'm going to discuss the Crop, Scale, and Rotate tool found in GIMP. During the scrapbook page creation process, you will bring in photos and will likely need to change their size and or orientation. For this video, I will show you how I prepared the photos for a recent layout. I'm going to start with three photos here. This photo you can see is larger than my scrapbook page. Let me show you this to 12 and a half percent and you will see that there's a lot of white space and it's hard to tell exactly where is my image. So I'm going to go to view and show all. Now you can see that this red outline area is my image and the yellow area is the current photo that I have. And so it extends beyond my actual, the white square, which is my scrapbook page. So what I'm going to do is make this top layer my active layer. I'm going to choose the crop tool and over in my tool options we can see there's a, many options that sh appear. I can crop my current layer only or if I uncheck this then I could crop the entire image. I want to crop only this layer. I could allow growing, allowing my canvas to grow. I could expand from the center. I can make it fixed. What this means, it maintains the aspect ratio or it maintains the width or it maintains the height. I'm not going to choose this at this time. You can choose the size of the finished the cropped image and you can choose the position on it also will show a highlight while we're in the process of cropping you'll see this in a minute there's guides or no guides auto shrink shrink merged so there's so many options available what i want to do is i want to I want to get rid of some of the excess items. This is a very busy photo, but I really want to keep this box that has all of my Christmas stockings in it. And so I'm going to start by clicking on my image, the top left corner, and just drawing myself a rectangle, which includes everything that I want to keep. So I drew it and then I let go of the left click. And now I can see my highlighted area right here in the center of what is currently cropped for me to keep in my image. I'm pretty happy with the top part here and the side part. If I wanted to alter either one of these, I could click into this handle, this yellow area, and I could drag it back and forth or I can click on this area and drag it back and forth. I'm happy with my area. So now I'm just simply going to click inside my selected area and that activates the crop action. So everything else was cropped away and we narrowed in on what I wanted to keep. I want to um, now scale this portion. So I'm going to click on my scale tool and once again we have multiple options in our scale tool of keeping the direction, um, clipping, there's so many options here. Um, but I do want to um, go ahead and we are, have this as our active layer, scale, I want to click on that layer. Now we have handles on each corner the middle of each side, and we also have a center handle. 
this center handle allows us to move the whole item without doing any scale properties. We can also go to um, the scale menu box that come appears and it gives us a width, a height, it gives us the locking for the aspect ratio. If we do anything and then we want to do away with what we just did, we can push the reset button and it puts us exactly back where we were at the beginning of the action. So in my situation, I know that I want the height to be 1500 pixels. So I'm going to type in 1500 and push enter. And it shows me the size and then I need to push scale to apply the action. And you're like, well, that's really small. But remember that I have, we have zoomed out because our pictures were outside of our space. So let me see if we can increase it a little bit here. Let's go back down. Okay. So let's move to the next. I'm going to hide this layer and let's move to the next layer. Once again, we're outside of our space, our image space. We're going to go to the scale tool. We're going to click on the on the layer. We get our navigation boxes and we get our center box where we can grab it and move it. I want to make this 1500 and I'm going to push scale. So it scales it down to 1500. And then I'm going to hide it. This one, we want to, we're going to do a crop again. So push crop and we're going to select an area that includes all of our stockings here. See, we selected an area. The area was highlighted so I can look at it. Is, am I happy with this? I am. If I wasn't, I can grab the handles and adjust the area. You see that? Then I'm just left click into my selected area and the outer edges do disappear. Let's do scale and make it 1500 wide. And you're like, well, okay, that's what she did for the other two. So now we can use our move tool and we're going to unhide the other two. We had this one, we had this one, and let's go ahead and I'm going to increase our magnification. And you can tell that this one is apparently the wrong orientation. So let's choose our rotate tool. This is our active layer. Make this our active layer. Click on it. Now we can rotate it. You can type in 90 and click rotate on the menu box or let's undo that or we can we have rotate tool selected click on our image and we can drag it to the orientation with that we want we want this to be 90 degrees so we're going to click rotate and apply. We can now use the move tool to place our photos on our layout. And I have, I scaled them down, I cropped them, and then I rotated this bottom one. Let me know if there's a technique that you would like to add to your scrapbook page. I can learn how to do it with GIMP and share it in a video. Bye for now.